Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to talk all about my absolute favorite and best color formulations for both color corrections and gray coverage. And of course on my channel I've talked a lot about bleaching and toners and the best ways to get the best blondes, but I've never done like a dedicated video just about colors and color formulations for each individual kind of scenario. So what inspired this video is the still the number of questions and messages I get daily showing me pictures like this of reddish, brownish, brassy browns and they telling me that they've used a purple shampoo and that it's not working. And I have touched on this in the past in that a toner will not tone brown hair. So this video is to correct that. And for that, what you need is a color that has great amount of background color, which means it's not just going to lift the hair, it's actually going to have a good amount of deposit. And as well, this is what you need to cover gray hair. I often get clients at the salon that say like, you know, I've been getting my hair colored for years at this other salon and I always feel like my gray comes back or even when I leave the salon, I have gray that I can still see like around my face or anything like that. And oftentimes it's, the, the level is right, but the color could even come down to the color brand um, is just, it's not right for great coverage. So I'm basically just gonna go over a various of scenarios and what colors I prefer to use to fix these problems. So I'm gonna start with the most obvious and the most asked on my channel is how to get rid of these ugly, reddish, brown, unwanted kind of brassiness in brown hair. So I'm just going to use this example here of one of my clients. This is what she came in with, with really, as you can see, really reddish tones in her brown hair. And again, I do have to say this as a disclaimer, I'm not in any way saying that reddish brown hair is ugly. I'm talking about unwanted redness in brown hair because we've been down that road before. <laughs> so, so obviously for this client, I ended up giving her some balayage pieces. And for that, I used a lightener in foils. But what I ended up using for her base, a half ounce of 6NA and a half ounce of 8NA. And I absolutely love the Redken Cover Fusion. The fact that it's Cover Fusion is amazing for gray coverage. Also, for me, it's the absolute best for really covering and removing those reddish brown tones. And so the N stands for neutral and the A stands for ash. I absolutely love that the N comes first because that means that there is a ton more of neutral tones than there are ash tones. And obviously we definitely need the ash tones to counteract the, the red tones. You always want there to be enough neutral tones in that formula as well, because that's what's going to make it long lasting color. So as you can see her after, it's a beautiful neutral ash color where it looks like you know, she, this could have been her natural base. And of course, there are other brands out there that you can get that basically same number, same formula. But in my true honest opinion, I feel like nobody has as good of neutral and ash tones as Redken does. Uh, and as a blonde specialist, um, as many blondes as I do, I'm doing their base color and I always rely on the Cover Fusion to really give me those foolproof, great coverage um, color blends. Another thing that I get asked a lot too is for say clients that do come in with uh, you know lots of gray, maybe over like 50% or at least over 25% of their hair that is gray and they come in and they have really dark base, like a level four or level five, which is this here. And they, you know, they'll have like some highlights in it and they say, I hate my dark base. I would love it to be lighter, but my last hairdresser said that in order to cover the gray, we need to go really dark. And as a hairdresser, I absolutely hate hearing that because that is not true. Obviously you can cover gray with light blonde. And the answer is if you have good quality color, yes you can. You can cover gray hair with say a level seven. 
and that's where the 7NN is my absolute go-to for someone that has a lot of gray but still wants to have a pretty light base. So if you're wanting to cover gray and the, the client wants a much darker base, then obviously that's easy. Um, but like I said, if you want something lighter, the 7NN also by the Cover Fusion line is absolutely my go-to for the last, <laughs> I don't know how many years. And the fact that it's NN, that means that there is a double of the neutral. To kind of just simplify how to basically read that color level, uh, the seven obviously is the level, and then the double N means that there's going to be extra coverage. So when doing grays, you always want to stick with the NN line. All right, and now moving on to my go-to colors, for when I want to darken hair, but not necessarily tone. I just want to darken the hair or make the hair richer. By richer and deeper, that normally means more warmth. More warmth means more golden tones, more reddish tones. So this is the complete opposite of what I was showing you with my previous client. This is when we want to add reds, when we want to just make the color look really rich. And of course I can do that with other levels of the Color Fusion line, but my absolute favorite go-to for that is the Redken Color Gels. And I know that on my channel you guys have seen me talk about them, and that is just because of their versatility and just how easy they are to use. So the Redken Color Gels are a liquid permanent color which we are normally not used to anymore because normally when we think of a liquid color, um, we are thinking about toners and semi-permanent colors, but this is a liquid color, but it is permanent. So anytime I have a client come in that wants like a beautiful like burgundy, like whiny color almost, I always reach for the color gels. I just feel like the warm tones from the color gels somehow like seep into the hair deeper and just give you that more like really vibrant and beautiful reds. Of course, not only the reds, they make beautiful um, neutrals as well. Uh, I've definitely bumped bases with this as well. That means that when, say you're like blonde and you have like roots kind of growing out and all you want to do is lighten that root but not really change the rest of the hair, these are great for that as well. Also, if I have a client that is going from blonde to brunette, I absolutely love to fill with these first. So obviously, with the color gels, you can do neutral tones as well. You can do ashier tones with color gels, of course, and vice versa with the Cover Fusion. You can also do warmer red tones, but just for me, just any time that I need something that is going to be darker and that really, really just locks in that color and gives you like extreme shine, I definitely go for these. And when I really, really just want those beautiful, like neutral kind of cooler tones, I reach for the Cover Fusion. And of course, always keeping in mind that when using the color gels, you do have to mix that with the color gels a developer. So I know that every formula that I've mentioned here today is obviously a professional formula. And I know that a lot of my audience are DIYers and you know are here and want to try some of this on their own. The formula is pretty universal and you can absolutely get these colors in a different brand. Obviously each brand is going to have their own little tweak on the color. And like I said, for the formulas that I just went over, I obviously do prefer Redken for these things. Like I said, I went to a Redken affiliated school and that's what I was trained in and what I personally like to use on my hair and obviously on my clients. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I know that not everyone that is watching my channel is here for just blonde coloring, so I hope that this has helped um, a new range of you guys. If you guys still have any questions, please leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.